Hello. Today, we are not looking at Unreal Tournament maps. Travesty, I know. Today, we are looking at maps I found on a haunted CD inside of a magical jewel case enchanted with ghosts and on this uh, CD there are many many maps this is one of them and we're gonna look at it should I head right on to the main event or uh, uh, should we check out what's over here maybe Ah, uh, an invisible wall, that's what's over here. I would argue that Left for Dead is much less spooky. It might have more zombies, but it certainly has less weird buildings. I'm a big fan of the atmosphere in this particular map. Yeah, I, I got the Left for that two maps ready to play, actually. So if we ever run out of haunted, magical maps found on a mysterious compact disc, we can also look at Left for that maps. But for now, let's see if we can enter this building. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't tell me this is just for taking photos. No. No, 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 no. No way. No way. I'm gonna clip in now. This can't, this can't be real. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It doesn't exist. There's nothing here. What a sham. <laughs> this is everything. Ah, oh, we've been scammed. There's nothing here. Well. Uh. Well, what's happening? There we go. Is this copyright? Probably. Can't even physics it away. Let's head on up. It's pretty cool music, but as always, I have to be afraid of the copyright gods. You never know who's gonna try and DMCA you. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. We might not be able to enter. There is a ladder here. Jump? What do you mean jump? Jump down? We're just gonna die. Crow noises. You think there's gonna be a Wendigo in those woods somewhere, maybe? You know of the Wendigo? That's a spooky, mysterious thing, isn't it? Wendigon, that's the name I, I seem to remember somehow. Okay, I think we're gonna just switch to a different map in a second because turns out now the skybox is even gone. Turns out this is just something to be appreciated from the outside. 
as there is no inside. But we're learning. Right, this is new territory. Yeah, nothing here. All right. Um, but I have lots of different maps. Let's take a look at Concrete Cool House. This one also came on an abandoned, haunted, magical compact disc. Here we are. Whoa. Let's check this one out. Way different vibe. Oh, oh. Okay, let's start that. Uh, do we go up? Do we go into the weird tunnel? Uh, or I guess that's the options. I'll take the weird tunnel for now. Oh. This just screams house of an architect. Right? Like nobody would ever live here unless they are an architect or they have way too much money and hired an architect to make them a house. It's kind of funny that you can only get into this room through this, uh, what do you call this? Cent center garden, inside garden. There's got to be a name, so, uh, a name for that kind of specific garden in the middle of things. We had something in the school I went to where you would look out of, outside the classroom and inside all between the classrooms was like a patch of grass like that, just without a tree. Very peaceful place. I guess that's it. <clears throat> Just a nice little house with way too many chairs and tables and kind of nothing else. Interesting layout though. That seems more like a, <clears throat> like nobody lives here. This is like an architect's piece for display or something. Okay, there is a map, a specific map that seems to like seemed just so intriguing. Um, because there was like a seemed to have like a story to it or something. And I think to find it because some of my um thumbnails aren't working. Was it Lunar Core or was it as always I have a lot here, Everdon. Everdon fading something. Let's find that here. Um, it's either here, ever, no, or it's here, ever, GM ever dawn, maybe. Uh, there we go, ever dawn. Let's check that one out. I think that one has a little more to offer than just being a small little house. Elegant golf. Thank you. What's the what's the new word that the kids use these days for that? Demur. <laughs> Gotta wait for this one to load, but I think this one's gonna be worth it. Because it starts with like a card that tells you what to do and what not to do in order to be able to enjoy this experience in the most ideal way. User250 has questions. Now that's a new one. Shoot. <laughs> he 
Here you go. This is how this starts. Um, this map has a very specific order to be played in. Do not use no clip to skip parts. All right, I'll try. It's designed around single player. It contain contains bright flashing lights. So if anybody has a problem with that, medical condition or something, be aware. Um, and then the rest should be fine. Okay, ready to hit the door? Here we are. Let's put that glowing gun away. Oh, a mad eagle. Fuck yeah. I can't tell you why somebody else would prepare a mad eagle. I You gotta ask the person that did that why they would do that. Okay, are you ready to explore? I already forgot what the map of the ma name of the map is with me. Uh, pole. Uh, flashlight on or flashlight off? I like the mood with it off, but I like the, the vision with it on. What do you think? Maybe just on off as desired? Uh, we guys don't love that. I wouldn't like say that any like not all people that were born in a country like the food in that country right not every german loves sauerkraut and bratwurst and stuff like that i think mad eagle is absolutely horrendous and disgusting <laughs> It's like a joke food. You prepare that for a party to like be all funny. A mad eagle. Just a bunch of processed meat in the shape of a hedgehog. Wow. I like how that. Oh my god. Well, it's 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 raw, but Matt is like um, ground beef prepared in a way that you can just eat it like that. Matt is a little different from just ground beef. I think it has just some spices added or something. We also put that just on a, a bun, like half a bun, and eat it with uh, onions. So far, I'm enjoying this map quite a lot. You think we're gonna get spooked here? Hope not. Is this spooky Sundays? I don't know. Uh, but that's what I like about this. Like, if I ever want to play a spooky thing, I don't want to know that it's spooky. I just want to think it's not spooky, so I'm not tense all the time and waiting for the jump scare. <laughs> There's the jump scare for ya. Ah, nice photo, Freeman. <laughs> Toilet. Oh, that's good. Everybody should watch the public information video. Um... Going to what? I didn't see anything special in this house. Is 
cinder blocks. I guess that's it. I thought this map would have a little more to offer this time around. What with the explanation and all at the beginning. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, I technically do bodybuilding as well. I just, my body is, just keeps losing more and more weight. <laughs> That's building in a way, isn't it? All right, let's check out the space, basement. Spacement? Have a look at my spacement. Melon. Melancholy. Oh. Okay. Time to ASMR read this for you. <clears throat> I've spent days pushing through the freezing winds. Every day I kept seeing the same surroundings. The same winter landscape with a puny country road running through. I always stayed on the side. I was afraid that when I go near the road, I'd be found by someone who wouldn't welcome me in this land. One day I saw something in the distance. A warm, inviting glow shined through the dead branches. Certainly an outlier in the monotony of this dull landscape. It was coming from a small cabin. It felt so hopeful, so charming. I felt like inside I'd finally find someone who would be willing to help me. Someone who could maybe explain to me what's going on. I gathered my courage and knocked on the door. There you go. Oh, and there's more. You tired of this yet? <clears throat> As always, only heartbreak awaited. Whoever was residing here already left in anticipation of me. The light still left on, perhaps only as a lure to keep me here. I knew that the dream would not continue, however. That was probably my only hope. I knew that I could leave now and try again tomorrow in a better place. Okay. What are you? Ah, there's the flashing lights. Damn. Interesting map. Interesting map. Reminds me a little bit of Super Liminal, the video game. Squish. Ugh, I wouldn't want to open that with the sound this makes. Oh, decisions, decisions. What's this? Just cylinder plus sphere. I mean, sure. Okay. Don't touch the art. Wow, I love how everyone left because I ASMR read that stuff. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, just some some art, I guess. Ah, oh, that's AI generated. You, we hate AI generated art. Bah. Nobody. That's even like old AI generated art. Like that's before it even made any sense. Well, this is still better than AI generated art, in my opinion. But it goes blank when you look at it. Is that by design? Who knows? Oh, 
Oh, also to alienate everybody who's still here, I've seen the new Joker movie today and I loved it. <laughs> no spoilers in chat. Yeah, nobody did. I was prepared for it to suck, but I didn't think that it did. Okay, there's a door. And this is also a door. Reading. Oh, oh, okay. Kitchen. Okay, you ready for the cooking stream? So, oh, door stuck. Sorry, can't do it. Oh my god, where do we go? I can't, I can't handle all these options. I can also run, by the way. Cute. This melon has problems. You, why is it all facing the wall? I don't like, ah, oh, I don't like that at all. This is just an empty room. Wow, something just loaded in heavily. Ah. Cute. Ah. Oh, it's a... I want to get into the sauna. Is this liminal yet? That's not, that's not accurate. I can't lift weights. My arms are like pencils. Also, I've been actually, I've been thinking about that for a second. Uh, I know it's... I wish I wouldn't think about user 250 in my off time either, but I did. And <clears throat> what I was thinking was that all of these suggestions, like lift weights on stream, cook on stream, what was the third one? Um, what was the third one? There was one more suggestion. Actually. I forgot. But all the stuff, oh, make music, do a music making stream. <sighs> Help, I'm scared. Let's continue in a different, oh my God. What the fuck? This isn't scary, fuck this, I'm gonna approach that. It's gone. I lied, it is scary. Um, all of these ideas are things that I wouldn't want to stream because there's just nothing I would have to say. When I cook, I just make... I need a hug. I just make food. There's no words I have to share about that. Um, and there's nothing about it that I want to show anybody. I just make food. 
uh, same with making music. Like I just sit there and I do things until the music gets better, in my opinion. I don't talk during that. I wouldn't know what to say about any of it. And then lifting weights. Why would I lift weights on stream? It would just be nothing. I could just as well stream like the clock on the wall or something. It's like, no. That's not interesting in the slightest. Those are my thoughts on user 250's ideas. Um, what about this? Nothing about this. Have we been there? Shout out to the cat in the corner. Oh, look at this melon trying to get in our way. Well, not today. All these melons. Oh, we've been here before. Um, so, right, so let me take the other path. Gotta say, I feel this map is a little derivative. Like, it's clearly this whole, like, back room. <gasps> That was clearly like very badly animated and such, but it still caught me off guard and I got startled. Oh. Bah. Okay, I don't know, let's just keep going for a while. I don't need to bitch about it just yet. There's a little fly here again that's just dying to annoy me. What you love to do besides looking at maps? Um, again, an eating stream. First of all, I can't even physically talk while I'm eating because I'm stuffing things into my mouth. Also, what could I possibly say about eating something? I would just sit there and eat. How is that something anybody will want to watch? It is not. That's the answer. It's not something anybody will want to watch. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to disturb you. You're clearly having a meeting. Um, so the Mad Eagle thing, right? That's something you brought up. Um, and the only connection I have to that is heritage. I have nothing to tell you about Mad Eagle that I didn't already tell you. I certainly won't make or eat one. Memory obsolete. Yeah, this is, okay, now I'm gonna bitch about it. This is all very derivative of like the backrooms, liminal stuff, right? So, um, it's, it's like trying so hard to be interesting, this map. It's not just its own thing for the sake, like the person that made this, Help, I hate this. Uh, I don't think the person that made... I don't think the person that made this made this just because they enjoyed making it. I think they made it made it with like an ulterior motive, like for people to play it and stream it and like show it to other people and stuff, which is fine. But 
what I want to like the things I'm specifically looking for is this beginner's guide, Hera, uh, Steve Loire stuff, where a person just makes things for their own enjoyment. And I just happen to get to also look at them. Like this was not made for a person for their own, uh, by a person for their own enjoyment. This was made by a person for other people to play it specifically. Do you get what I mean, kind of? I like this. This is the first thing in this map since the very beginning, since the spacement, where I'm like, all right, we found a thing. Yeah, it's cheap tricks for spectacle. But it hasn't completely lost my interest yet. So why do you eat a mad eagle? User 250. Um, when did I ever say that I that I do that? I didn't. I specifically said that I don't. I'm not bullying the watermelon. I, I specifically put it back and let them get back to their meeting. Where they were in the circle on the ground. I guess we're gonna go up. Craft a look that doesn't fit the source engine. That's an interesting um, perspective. Because I don't really, I'm not particularly familiar with the source engine. So to me, um, this is just what it is. Um, but yeah, if you are, then you can probably get that. But yeah, even, even like for me, who doesn't have like a, specific association with the source engine this still is just oh i made this backrooms-esque level um that's full of like this is like trying so hard to be interesting that it fails in being interesting it's kind of how i can distill that i guess like, this is like a kid um, trying to not be annoying by being annoying or like being annoying in the process of trying not to, kind of like that. Just not about being annoying, but about trying to do something interesting. It's trying way too hard and it's also trying in the wrong ways because it's not yeah, doing the thing. Uh, I wrote down a thing actually about this very. Um, I'm not even going to read this. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm over this. Uh, I'm not perfect in the slightest. I don't ever say that. Nice screenshot. Um, here. On my way to the cinema today, I just um, decided to go to the lake and look at some ducks. While I was sitting there with the ducks, I wrote down this sentence. You shouldn't try so hard to find something, to learn something, to win something. Just appreciate the moment, your surroundings. Curiosity and chance will handle the rest. Um, and that's like in... Relation, okay, uh, is this over? No. Okay, we're back here. Let's start this. Uh, this is like in response to, um, like in League of Legends. I played a game of League of Legends yesterday and got flamed because I wasn't trying hard enough, because I wasn't trying to win hard enough. Um, and um, I was like walking through the, the forest basically, and there were people like looking for mushrooms I remember how as a kid I was looking for snails um, 
And nowadays, I don't. I don't look for mushrooms. I don't look for snails. I just am. And I feel like most other people just can't do that to just be. They always have to like, okay, is this edutainment or entertainment or what is this? Can't it just be what it is? Does it have to, does everything always have to have a benefit for you? That's like, like I gotta learn something. I gotta collect something, find something, win something. Can't you just look at a tree and be into that? Do I have to learn what this tree is about or collect some gold coins from the tree or, you know, I don't eat snails. Why, why are you asking me if I eat snails? Why do you assume that I eat snails? I love snails. Did you think I collected them to eat them? I collect them to... I don't even collect them as a kid. I had snails as a pet. But these days I just appreciate snails. Okay, so this is a house. So far I like that it's just a house. No basement yet. I dislike that it's entirely empty. Like honestly, <laughs> I just want to open the spawn menu <laughs> and start like <laughs> filling this house with like, you know, furniture. Because this is sad. Anyway, there's another house over there. Let's check this one out. This is not the interior design stream, sorry. This is the appreciating map stream. So far I'm not doing a lot of appreciating, but we just switched games. So I'm gonna have to get into this, get my bearings, see what's here and then make some calls. Like this, how you can't have two houses in your map, have one a house to be able to be entered and be empty and the other house not even be able to be entered. Like how lazy are you? <laughs> Sorry. More maps. We have a lot more. What about this one? This is a little joke for the Unreal fans here. Scarge Orb. I bet you will enjoy that one. It's facing constructs. Ah, uh, thank you for mentioning Beginner's Guide, Dabei. I mention that game like once per stream at least. I recently had my own whole Beginner's Guide experience with a map creator that kind of made it clear that they didn't want to have contact with me anymore after I looked at a lot of their maps. Uh, yeah, it was a whole thing. I still want to do a Goldswood stream, by the way. It's called Goldswood again now, and it's open to the public. Yeah, this is a funny joke. Face. Haha. -ha. Okay, let's get back to... Wow, no, 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 no. We're not going to go online. Never again. Uh, let's check out some maps that I do not know anything about. Because the ones that I thought I knew something about, turned out to be... Let me unpin this comment, by the way. I pinned this for fun earlier, but it's just in the way at this point. All right. Well, have fun, Biop Goblin, at work. I like that you're always announcing that you have to get ready for work. It's not like I would notice, like... But thank you. Love you. <laughs> Thanks for uh, hanging out.
fuck. No, I'm not playing on a CRT. Uh, I do have some CRTs around, but I, I'm getting like more and more afraid of using them because multiple CRTs have blown up in my face, kind of. Not in a dangerous way, but just like smoke. Fucking. These melons kind of are a bad sign at this point. Telling me that somebody is trying their hardest to make their map be liminal, I guess. Nah, this map ain't that either. Like, not. Not interesting. Come on, give me. Give me a good map already. Here's a here's a hot take. Um, Unreal maps, a lot of them are just good and interesting. Gmod maps, so far, a lot of them are lackluster in a way that no Unreal map has ever been lackluster in, which is that a person just spent minimal amounts of time and effort making something derivative to get some recognition it feels like and in unreal that kind of if somebody does that you just end up with this super basic geometric um shape of a map because it's harder to use the editor i guess and it's also like a way older game it's way less accessible yeah, exactly. Barrier of entry is lesser. So there's way more people making way more stuff. And that's... Well, I don't think Unreal Editor is so much better either. Like, that's a nightmare to use for your first time. This is also boring. Sorry. Um, what about GM Sad? I guess Unreal is just where it's at. <laughs> there is just nothing better. What do you mean go prop hunt? What does that mean? Oh, is it called GM Sad because nostalgia? I bet. I bet. The yeah, the game mode. But what do you mean when you tell me go prop hunt? Like, I, I do you want me to play the game mode prop hunt online with other players? <gasps> working wind chimes. What kind of working? That's cool. Apples. Yeah, janky physics. But well, what do you expect? Uh, can we... That looks... Pfft. All right. Hey, how's that still close? What are those? Cherries? There we go. Those are the cutest butterflies. 
I like right out of a children's book, basically. Oh, nice. Oh, it's like skewer, skewers to put meat on or vegetables and put on the grill. Uh, that's what? That's not how that works. That's cool. Think another. Like the bell in the distance. <gasps> Hello. Who are Amogus? goes in serious I can't even pick up a oh, great now I have screenshots of the damn apple I I feel like I'm too old for Gary smart maps does that make sense like unreal I felt like even unreal tournament 4 feels like the stuff that's being made is mostly wait how the fuck did you get up there what? Do you own drug paraphernalia? What? What is that question? Huh? I am admitted to do drugs like weed. I said I smoked weed in the past at some point. Like, sure. I was a teenager once. And you infer from that that I might own paraphernalia in the present? That's a bit of a stretch. Right? A weed farm? Nah, this ain't weed. Uh uh. No, no, this is weed. Why did you do drugs? Teenagers. Oftentimes try out certain things like i don't know kissing or smoking a cigarette or smoking a joint drinking a beer um stuff like that that's just what you do in life among many many other things but that's illegal. Actually, consuming, like these days in Germany, smoking weed isn't illegal anymore. And smoking weed wasn't illegal ever anyway. The possession was illegal, not the consumption. But now the possession isn't illegal either. <clears throat> Hi. 
I know. I just I just really enjoy arguing with 250. <laughs> that's not even something I have to admit. I think that's pretty obvious. Oh god, this map can just fuck right off, to be quite frank. Yes, that is the true vibes. I'm addicted to replying to 250. Some might call it throwing for content. What about this cabin? <laughs> Arguing with 250 is much worse than doing drugs. I agree. What's picture? It sure is a cozy little house. Duck on pipe? That, my friend, is not a duck. <laughs> I think that's a C. Oh my god, jump scared by a flower pot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it's a gull. Might be a duck. I mean, I'm calling a goose a duck regularly, right? So, yeah. I'm not too sure what a duck is either. All right, you ready for the cooking stream this time? So. We'll take this melon, oh my god, put it in the sink, right, to rinse it later. Um, we take a very loud loaf of bread and put that right on the stove, get that out of the way, we don't need this currently, we can rest on the watermelon for now. Uh, we need an apple, the apple, what's with, are you okay? Just having the time of his life over here. All right. Wait, I know where the apple goes. Oh no. Ah, oh, I ruined it. I ruined it. I'm sorry, I'll leave. Is there an upstairs to this? Oh, there's a bike to this. I don't think. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's a ladder. What do we got here? I, this is kind of what I'm looking for. A person just making a house fully with stuff inside of it. And I'm sure the person creating this had a lot of fun making this. Have you ever plucked a chicken? Jesus 250. <laughs> no, you? <laughs> Wow, you can even open the window. Yeah, somebody made this map to have fun making this map. And this is what I'm looking for, and I'm glad it also exists in Gmod. Buried within maps that were made to like impress some streamer, I guess. This is awesome. Can anybody read Cyrillic or Russian or whatever and help? Sorry, I, I'm not meaning to vandalize. I just have very shaky hands. Uh, this is not a vegan channel. I enjoy eating meat a lot. Though I do have, I know a lot of people that are vegan and that is completely fine, of course. Pink Floyd. Oh, I love, wait, I gotta make this joke. Oh my God, oh my God, gotta make this joke. I love 
three pack. It's my favorite. Oh, it says Shrek above pack. Shrek three pack. Shreky pack. Uh, I'm probably just being ignorant of Russian and how that works. Oh. Little cutie, I'll put you right back. Oh. <laughs> Shrek 3, even. What? Same image? Sure. Camera. Give me. That's how you take photos. Take notes. And photos. Why did you cannot switch the light switch? But this map has enough care put into it. It's fine. It doesn't have to do everything. Let's see how far we can walk this path. Cheese is nice. Cheese is like a very good thing. What's your favorite cheese, everybody? I really want to know. That's like not a trying to drive engagement question. Like I'm actually curious what people's favorite cheeses are. I want to get like a broad, like if one person tells me their favorite cheese, I'm like, yeah, all right, I guess that's your favorite cheese. But if a lot of people um, announce their favorite cheese, then maybe we can find like common ground or, or maybe there's gonna be a clear best cheese i'm gonna wait until i say my cheese piece if you ever survived in the wild please uh get a little more specific <laughs> and yeah cheeses are different from each other that's the beauty of it pairing are you a a cheese and grapes kind of guy, Father. Sorry for, for coming with questions like, yeah, difficulty level like that. Mm, the cheese on pizza, I'm with you now. That's, that's my kind of style as well. Uh, here's another house. I like just checking out small houses. That's fun. Where's the house now? Oh, cool. Uh, okay. Damn, nice swampy pond. So we got blau schimmel that, that's, I mean, that's an opinion, but you weren't serious, were you? Gouda, I can, that's kind of the cheese on pizza, gouda. And that's like my go-to cheese as well. Pizza or burger? Pizza, of course. Pizza wins against everything. Pizza is literally S plus tier. Yeah. Oh, that's some, yeah, that's some kind of sauna, right? Oh. Is that the stuff you go like this when you like, come out of the sauna or something? I never did that. But I would like to try. This is nice. Super great map. Love it. Amazing. I Basically, I think what I'm saying is I only want to play maps where most players would um, go like, Ugh, boring. That's exactly what I want to play. I don't want to be scared by any weird things. I don't want to see liminal spaces. I don't want to have a nice death match. I want to have this. Right. I feel bad for leaving this open, even though this is a virtual space that only exists right now. Once I close it, it doesn't anymore. Pizza and burger are not comparable. They're both something that you put into your mouth when you're hungry and if you're hungry right 
let's say hypothetically, you're hungry and we I have a pizza and a burger. And you can only have one if you decide between them. What then? This is the stock Gary Smart map, but with like super lazy Aurora Borealis. You're welcome. Can we look at this one yet? What about this one? <clears throat> I, 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 music? This one has music. Same. Seeing the northern lights in, in real life, that's bucket list material. I just, this music makes me want to start rapping. <laughs> I'm glad it's over so you don't have to suffer through that. Gary Smart is a lot of, um, in German, we call that Augenwischerei. <laughs> I'm sure there's an English term for that. Like, the first impression is really good, but if you then take a closer look at it, it's like there's nothing else there than the very first impression. Very surface level. Yeah, I, I was gonna make the take a tile and put it to the side wrap, but the music ended prematurely, so I have to wait for the next game crashed. No, okay. For the next opportunity. Oh, lighting sucks. Like this lighting does not make any sense. How do you base a map off of it being a city at night, but you don't put any street lights into it. This makes way too little sense to me to want to continue looking at it. Um, what about places from, from your dreams? I think there's a very good chance that these are going to be liminal spaces. <laughs> the creepy music. Just for kids. Just for kids. Oh my god, it's so spooky. Look at how spooky it is. I mean, it actually is spooky because I'm such a wuss. I'm scared of everything that's not brightly lit. I was like eerie in any way at all. But yeah, this is 100% liminal. Um, yeah, this is the thing. Like somebody at some point said, oh, this feels like a dream I had, right? And so somebody ran with this, like, it became like this term that people just used. Like, ah, oh, these are places from your dreams. No, they're not. This is nothing like a dream for me. This is just like, ah, oh, it's the pool rooms. God, I'm so over this stuff. Uh, A couple of weeks ago, I would have looked at this and been like, oh my god, it's the pool rooms. But this is the problem with this liminal stuff. Like, screw you. It's all the same. But 
let's look at the Nintendo office. Maybe I'm going to do the Frag and Brag stream tomorrow to get back into some really quality Unreal stuff. Wash the taste of all this Gary's Mod stuff out of our mouths. Uh, not to say, it, oh, it's a funny joke. It's the Nintendo office. Oh my god. I thought it was actually gonna be like the Nintendo. Oh my god. <laughs> there are some cool maps here. I'm not gonna say that all of this is like derivative and, and bad and whatever. But a lot of it is. Way more than I'm used to from Unreal. I don't get it either. But it was like, I guess, a person that doesn't like Nintendo, so it's a pile of trash or something. I don't know. Point is, there was nothing to explore. Uh, this is apparently an actual place in France. Farewell. Oh, cool. I read something about Trepang 2 in one of the map descriptions for one of the maps that I downloaded for Gary's mod. But I have never heard of the game outside of like us talking about it, basically. <laughs> Obviously. Is this how deep it goes in France? <laughs> well, run. This is quite a parking lot. Ah, oh, that's it. Nobody wants to park this deep. Well, I don't know. Don't know about this. Not particularly interesting either. What about this one? I seem to like the little houses. And this seems to have a couple little houses. Ah, this is kind of cool. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. looks like some of these you can enter. I'm fine with not being able to enter all of them. It's a lot of houses after all. And there's stuff inside. So far I'm, I'm quite happy. <laughs> Get out of the way. Oh wow, it's even animated. That's some attention to detail. How often do you need... does that work in, in this? No. Well... Then I'm not gonna keep looking at it, I guess. Are those ducks? Mm. Oh, I like this map. <clears throat> this captures the mood outside at night in a suburb quite well. Oh, but are ducks until proven otherwise. I don't know about that. Like I'm fairly sure crows exist and are 
legally distinct from ducks. <laughs> Poltergeist. And that is a big living room slash kitchen. Yeah, swans and seagulls are ducks for sure. Geese as well. I would say everything with like a round beak is a duck. Like a rounded beak. I can uh, agree with that. Who was the one person that had a coffee while everybody else was getting drunk? <laughs> There's always the one. Gonna drive everybody home later. <clears throat> oh, gotta say, I enjoy this map. Because the houses aren't copy pasted. Some of them you can enter, some of them you can't. The overall, like, uh, Gesamteindruck is very nice. Um, I mean, I lived in an apartment where the toilet was in a different room than the bathtub and sink. That's actually mega convenient. Because you don't have to go like, can you hurry up with the bath? I gotta use the toilet. Oh. I love how it's all lit with candles. It's actually very, it's very nice. Yeah, this, this house is a little spooky. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, you would walk from the toilet to the sink. <laughs> there's also layouts where there's another sink in the toilet room, but I've lived in a place where there was no sink in the toilet room. It was literally just a room with a toilet. That's where you went to do your business. And you could go into the bathroom to wash your hands. <clears throat> Yeah, that's true. It's definitely more hy hygienic that way. But when I had a room like that, I would just open the, the doors with like my elbow. Work, work well enough. <clears throat> I think I do wanna um, try making a house flipper stream at some point where I just <clears throat> like I've never played the game but I think I might enjoy just decorating a house might not be too exciting but I don't know maybe it'll be an enjoyable stream. Don't know until we try. A uh, house flipper. Where you like clean the house, but you can also like remove all the furniture and replace it with whatever you like. And take down walls and whatever. You can like do anything kind of. Ah, oh, cool. Groceries are just very, very empty. Are those vapes? 
Is this AI generated? Yeah. God, I hate AI generated stuff. It's just so... So... Like... Um, it feels like it's a lie. AI generated stuff feels like... I, I feel like I'm being lied to when I found out that I looked at something that was AI generated. When I look at it closer and notice it like doesn't make any actual sense. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I would prefer House Slipper 1 or 2. Probably wouldn't like matter to me which one I'd play. There's one more house I wanted to check out. Then we can move on. Um, it wasn't this one. It was all the way over here, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was, yeah, it was this car. Oh, it's a gas station. Alright, but yeah, what I dislike about Gary Smart stuff very much is that so many of the assets um, are the same between the maps. And that's not like that in Unreal. In Unreal, there's like, you have to kind of make everything. You can't just plop down a car from the editor or like, you know. You have to get creative and make your own stuff. And so all the maps look very different from each other, except for sometimes textures are like being reused. Uh, but in Gary Smart, it's kind of, you see a lot of like props, elements that are the same between maps. And that's, that ruins the immersion a lot for me. Because I feel like I'm not looking at a place I'm looking at a Gary's mod map. Mm. Um, user 250, please explain to me how you came to asking that question after me having already said several times that I don't drink alcohol. Like at this point, you're just being a very low effort troll. Um, that's kind of, it's kind of not, yeah, all Germans do exactly the same thing, right? Like as soon as you're German, you drink beer every day, even though, even people that have already told you specifically that they don't drink alcohol because they're German, they must drink beer every day anyway, right? Are you serious? Yes, okay, at this point. <laughs> Goodbye, Dabai. Thanks a lot for hanging out. This is too dark, though this is a cool mood. This makes me come around on Gary's mod stuff yet again, because I don't want to miss out on this. There's some awesome ambient sounds, the trees are moving. Um, while this is too dark, it's actually accurate to real life. And yes, this is very good. This I enjoy a lot. That's exactly how the outside looks at night. Where I live. Wow. 
Wow. This is... This is good. This is a... Oh, that's why you were asking about Dollar Tree, I see. I didn't realize that was like an actual thing. Hello. A gecko. Hi, gecko. Who's being mean to you, 250? Who's hurting you? What's happening? You can talk to me. Uh, does that work? No, of course not. Of course it doesn't work. What am I doing? <laughs> Windows 12. Oh my god. I think, no, I, I don't think they actually have Windows 12. That might be a, a lie. Uh, that would be kind of dangerous if that would actually what these doors are like in real life. Just this thing in the middle. Everybody would run into that and get like splinters. Yeah, this map is like the last map, just better. Love this one. Dark sound. Wow, it's also... Like, I'm sure this is, like, basically Skybox and you can't go there. But there's so much in every direction that it's cool. Yeah, this has got to have taken a lot of work. Oh, and there's so many different ambient sounds in all the different places. Like, I haven't heard that owl so far. I bet this is an invisible wall. No. Is that France? There, there are cars over there. Damn. This is a nice map. Like, this is awesome. This is exactly what I wanted. Finally. Great. There was an accident over there. Oh my god. There's so much stuff to find. This is cool. I like this. But what happened to to the people. What's going on in this place? Yeah, visual storytelling. Awesome. Shop. This captures the feeling of being outside at night in a suburb so well. This is almost like if I ever meet aliens or <laughs> a person that doesn't know what this is like. You can just show them this and they'll get it. If you don't have, have an actual suburb handy to visit at night. This works. Oh 
my god. These vehicle accelerating sounds are so realistic. Like the most realistic of this kind of sound I've heard yet in anything. Because when they happen, I feel, I for a second I think like, oh, is that outside? It's like a motel, right? Whoa. The trees are rustling. Great, great, love this, love this, love this. <laughs> Can't say that enough, this map is really good. I think we're gonna move on. There's just enough houses you can get into. Oh my god. You can get into this whole thing. Okay, you know what I want to do. I want to take a break again of like five minutes and then I want to take a look at Goatswood in Second Life. Just to have done that and then I can upload the video of that um, because it's a public place, right? Like that should be okay to do. It's not some secret thing anymore. And I want to like, I feel like I want to close that chapter, the Angel Heart chapter, by showing that off and then uh, letting that rest, finding a new thing. So yeah. I think today the mood is like not there for, for the funky music in the break. I just wanna leave you with like a shot like this for five minutes and I'll be back and check out some goats with them. See you soon.
actually you know what? It's late. Maybe let's just do Ghostwood another time. Look at Unreal Tournament again tomorrow and leave it at this for today. Uh, and end it here. Yeah. So see you all some other time. The Joker 2 is a good movie. Good night. Goodbye. And true on that.